Hey guys, so uh, freshly back from High Sierra Fly-In. Uh, scratch that, no I'm not. I, uh, I've been back now for about two and a half, three weeks. A lot, of, a lot of you guys though, it was cool seeing the videos and the pictures and the vlogs of, a lot of you guys busted butt to get back. I, uh, I took my time, I uh, saw the country. I mean, that's the reason I fly a slow flying cub is so I can land where I want, take my time, see friends, see family. So it took me about, uh, I took three or four days to come home and uh, just had a ball seeing some sights on the way. But anyway, I landed and got right to work at uh, my software company called Amped. And then I just got back to flying. I was flying a dirty plane and um, I, you know, the weather wasn't very conducive to washing a plane. So, but here I am. <clears throat> and, uh, but I gotta tell you, one of the things I've been working on is I, uh, restained some columns and a fence at my, my house. And I kept thinking how I was gonna wash my plane. Was I gonna pull it out and use the foam method and a big scrub brush? What was I gonna do? So one night I was <clears throat> cleaning up my Graco power sprayer. If you don't have one of these things, it's one of the handiest tools I have. But I uh, was cleaning this out. And as I was cleaning it out, I, I noticed it was kind of like a little pressure washer, but with, with using I don't know, a 32nd of the water, uh, but it had pretty good pressure. And so I started washing the tire of my truck. And next thing you know, I'm getting in cracks and crevices of my truck. And I said, that's it. That's how I'm gonna wash my plane. So I'm gonna give this a try. <clears throat> I uh, mixed turtle wax uh, car wash in it. All this other spray, I just use this for window cleaner. This is some simple green. Um, this is actually a, a, a product I got at a, at a fly in. It's uh, well, it's damn aircraft window cleaner. So uh, from McFarland, and then uh, th and actually I, I've used this stuff a lot on my windows. Now I, I order it from them, but and then um, some of the glass I put uh, the, the Rain X or in, in the front I put the Rain X uh, bug and tar remover. I don't have to really worry about that this time of year because there weren't a lot of bugs when I when I came across the country. But I keep this in my cleaning bucket and then obviously a, a soft bristled brush to clean up. But um, let's give this thing a try. Um, as, as just like the rest of you, coming back to my Sierra, the memories are great. And now I look at all the dirt and grime on my, my plane, and I think every speck of dirt has a uh, have, has a story to tell. So I can't wait to uh, get that stuff off and relive some memories. Hi Sierra was a blast. It was great seeing you guys, and I can't wait till next year. But let's clean this dirty bird up. The best thing is I got half my front end done and I've used about 16 ounces of water. With a pressure washer or a hose, you'd be using about five, 10, 15 gallons of water. It's just the way to go. I just, I just use this uh, Extreme Clean Eraser. Uh, man, it just works great for getting oil and gunk off of stuff. So I probably apply way too much of it on there, but it is what it is. But the cool thing is, is, once that sets for a minute, I'll leave that sit. But look how slick this thing works. Just like a little pressure washer, takes the dirt right off. And I can get into the cracks and crevices of my airplane. Sometimes you need a little extra scrubbing. But uh, I mean, for the most part, it takes this stuff right off. Watch this dirt right here. That's uh, pretty hard baked uh, playa dust. And, uh, and it doesn't matter what kind of power sprayer you have, anything's gonna work. Now, just to give you an idea of how clean it is, I'll uh, grab the towel and wipe that down so you can see it. But check this out where the this stuff was. No, oh, dude. Look at that stuff. My Acme Hero shocks haven't looked this good since Goose sent them to me. This 
just amazing how well this thing cleans it. I just can't believe how well that worked compared to what I used to do <clears throat> with the hose and the scrub brush and the pressure. I've tried everything. And uh, I'm just starting this so the verdict's still out. But holy crap, so far it took off all of the big, the big chunks of crap. On my way back from High Sierra, I hit a couple lake beds, river bars, and everything else, and you get that dirt and grime on there and it turns into like almost concrete and then you add water to it and it goes right away but I don't just to protect the finish of my plane I didn't want to just start uh, rubbing a wet cloth on it so this literally it's like a little mini pressure washer and it uh, holy cow does this work good and then I soap it up again I mean, anybody that's been to High Sierra, you know the struggles I'm facing. But what's it been, 15 minutes, Levy? Shoot, look at us, we're damn near, damn near done with the front, and then move on to the wings. Shoot. That's one thing we haven't asked is if this method is Kevin approved. Kevin, you think that's a clean plane? I do too, buddy. I think about the only part that this idea hasn't totally changed my life as far as, as, far as cleaning my plane is the rinse off. But the one thing I do like about the way this rinse is off is that you just don't use much water at all and it gets everything off. I love it. I mean, the thing with this side is, <clears throat> this thing's doing such a nice job that I don't even have to scrub this. I rinse it and I'm done. Now, you know, obviously I'll spray polish it and do all that stuff, but this thing is getting it perfect. My plane was a mess. I uh, tried something new. I think the things I really liked about it was that it was really good at getting detail. Um, I barely used any water and soap. <clears throat> but the other thing I really liked about it was I had a lot of control. So if you're using a pressure washer or whatever, um, you know, you don't get a lot of control. Uh, the thing, I think it would probably go a lot faster with a hose and a scrub brush but I'm in a hangar and I didn't have that option to get it just super soapy and wet. Um, so I, 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 I'm glad I used the, this paint sprayer because what it allowed me to do was control it and not make a huge mess. I think the product speaks for itself. Um, the plane is clean. God, now I gotta tackle the inside of it. That's gonna be a chore in itself, but I think that's how Kevin and I are gonna spend our Friday evening is, uh, cleaning up uh, the inside of the plane and then we'll uh, take this old guy flying. What do you think, Kevin? Let's do it. <laughs>